Thank you, and uh, thank you uh, to President and Governor McKee for having the, our office here today. We want to really extend our congratulations to the faculty and AUP for coming to this arrangement. You know, it's the faculty and staff of this institution and all others across uh, Rhode Island that really make sure that teaching and learning happens in a classroom. And so by this next step in leadership to keep our campuses safe, it allows us to continue to do that uh, across our, our industry. Uh, we also want to um, really restate that Rhode Island was the first state in the country to require vaccinations for all of our students. This is allowing us to take that next step along with our private institutions to reach where all faculty and staff are also uh, vaccinated, uh, really leading the country and how that higher ed can, can lead the industry uh, around the country for, for making sure that our campuses are safe and we can return to in-person learning and stay in-person learning. You know, I dropped my four-year-old and seven-year-old off at school yesterday morning, masked, ready to go. And as a parent, uh, I want to keep them in that classroom so that they learn. And I want that for all of our higher ed students as well, whether it's in a hybrid format or it's in a, a remote format or in-person learning, that we continue that education process. The governor said something that's really important. The vaccination is based on really good science. It's based on research, something that this institution leads in, as well as others in the state of Rhode Island. And so we need to have faith in that science and that process so that we can uh, really move our state forward and move our country forward. Thank you very much. I want to turn it over to the Lieutenant Governor. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, I just uh, want to thank Governor McKee again for bringing us all together and also uh, for making sure that the message is getting to our community. We have to bring the message as often as possible to remind everyone about the importance of getting vaccinated. I want to uh, thank um, the efforts and the resilience of the students that had, and the faculty here in the colleges, um, here in URI and other colleges of the state of Rhode Island because they are resuming in-person learning. We are so glad to see that happening, but it's only happening because of all of you that are following the protocols, are getting vaccinated, and I'm also making sure that you're wearing your mask when you are indoor. It's critical that we continue to do this. Um, I want to uh, thank uh, also Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott for the important message that she provided right now about the importance of getting everyone vaccinated, including those healthcare workers. They are taking care of our loved one. In many cases, those are the ones coming into our home, in, or in the homes of families, members that are the most in need. So we have to make sure that when they come into our homes or our relative homes, they are vaccinated to make sure that we're not spreading the disease of the Delta that is so contagious. Um, in order for us to continue moving forward um, safely, we have to protect our community against the Delta variant. And I encourage all Rhode Islanders who qualify to get the vaccine to please get vaccinated as soon as you can. Each and every one of you um, has an important role to play in taking a, an active role in making sure that our school community is safe, that our families and friends are safe, and our fellow Rhode Islanders are safe. And again, I'm just gonna say that, uh, a brief message in Spanish. If I, if I spoke another language, I would do it in another language, because that is that important that we have to, we get this message across. Yo quiero decirle a todas las familias, a todos los estudiantes, recordarles que es muy importante que protejamos a nuestra comunidad. Uh, la variante del Delta es muy contagiosa, muy contagiosa. Y tenemos que asegurarnos que todos los habitantes del estado de Rhode Island estén uh, tomando las precauciones necesarias para asegurarnos que todo el mundo está, um, está tomándose la vacuna para uh, evitar la propagación. Uh, un mensaje para los empleados de uh, los hospitales y otros centros que tienen personas con alto riesgo. Nosotros necesitamos que ustedes se vacunen y la razón es porque ustedes están en contacto con nuestros seres queridos más vulnerables y ustedes vienen a las casas, a nuestras casas de personas muy vulnerables. Es muy importante muy importante que usted reciba la vacuna. Usted no quiere sentirse culpable de haber sido la persona que llevó esta enfermedad a un hogar 
y que causó uh, tal vez que una persona que usted ame termine en el hospital o que lamentablemente muera. Nosotros no queremos ser responsables de eso. Así que, por favor, uh, vacúnese, porque usted, usted está jugando un papel muy importante en cómo nosotros podemos parar esta enfermedad del COVID. Lastly, I just want to once again remind to everyone to get vaccinated so we can enjoy great events and we can come back here at URI and also uh, be sharing on for the ramps um, because we, that's what we like, right? <laughs> so with that, I just want to say thank you and I want to turn the um, speaking program over to Laura Wong, um, doctor of physical therapy um, student. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I want to take the time to thank the governor's office, the Board of Health, and URI for taking the necessary steps to allow us as students to come back onto campus um, in a safe environment given the coronavirus. It's been such a difficult year for us as students. And I really think that everyone here has taken the necessary measures to allow us to be here um, and feel safe and not have to worry about our health here while in classes. Being um, a doctor, a physical therapy student, it's so important for us to have in-person classes. And by URI mandating the vaccines for our student, it allows us to gain hands-on experience not only in the classroom, but also in the clinics working with clinicians and gaining that experience. Um, I personally decided to get the vaccine to protect myself, my community, my fellow students. Um, and it's really important for us all to do our part to slow the spread and stop the transmission of the coronavirus. So thank you so much for having me.